Hello friends, in this video we will see properties of logarithm. So the first property is log 1 base a equal to 0. So this is the first property. Irrespective of any base, the log 1 value is going to be always 0. Okay. So the second property is log a and base a equal to 1 ok so if the value and the base both are same then the value of whole logarithm is going to be 1 ok and the third property is log a to the power of x and base a is equal to x ok so if we have log base a and again the value is a to the power of x and then it the value overall logarithm value is going to be x. So let us see how we got this one. Actually the derivation for this one is for example we have log a to the power of x and base a is equal to x. Okay. So now let us apply log base a on both sides. Okay. Log base a on both sides. Okay. So log base a of log a to the power of x base a equivalent to log x base a. So whenever we have power of x, so we can move that one to here, right? Move that one to here. So this one can also be written as log x base a and then log a and base a is equal to log x base a but we have log a base a value is 1 so that's why this is going to be log x base a is equal to log x base a so this one is actually derived from this one okay this one is actually derived so both are equal so this one is derived from this one so that's why log a to the power of x base a is equal to x. So I hope you got this one. So next one is a to the power of log x base a is equal to x is equal to x. So whenever we have a to the power of log x base a is equal to so always it is going to be x. Why? We can interchange these two values whenever we want. Okay. So how we can interchange these values? We will see actually. We take this one. Okay. So apply log base a on both sides. Okay. So log base a and then a to the power of log x a is equal to log a base x. So I applied log base a on both sides. Okay. So, when we have log a to the power of log x a or base a, so we can move this log x a to here. Okay. So, this one is going to be equal to log x a and then log a base a is equal to log x base a. So, this log a is going to be 1. So, that means we have log x a is equal to log x a. So, this one is derived from this one. So that means a to the power of log x base a is equal to x. Okay. So the next property is log base a and m into n. M into n. So this is going to be equal to log base a m plus log n base a ok so if log base a the value is multiplication of two values so that is going to be equal to log m and base a plus ok log n base a so next property is log base a m by n so when we have the values m by n so this is going to be equal to log n base a minus log n base a. 
okay so this is going to be log n base a so in the same manner when we have log base a m to the power of n is going to be equal to n log m a n log m base a so whenever we have a power to the value so that can be shifted to here okay so the same thing we have done here also okay when we have log a to the power of log x base a a so we move this log power that is log x base a to here okay so we can move like that one so that this using this we already use this formula here and we already use this formula here also okay we already use this formula here also so log m to the power of n base a is equal to n log m a okay so so the next property is when we have log base a 1 by m is going to be equal to minus log m base a okay minus m log base a so how we got this one so 1 by m can be written as m to the power of minus 1 so by using this formula when log m m to the power of n base a we move this power to here so in the same manner we have here m to the power of minus 1 so we can move that minus 1 here so the same thing we have done that when minus log a base m okay and the next property is log b base a is equal to 1 by log we can interchange the values when we are writing 1 by log value then we have to interchange the values instead of b we write a here instead of a we write b here okay so when we have log b a then it is going to be 1 by log a and base value b so when we have log 1 by a uh, log 1 by log a b so this can be written as we can move the value of log a and log b okay so here we write log b by log a but we have some constant as a base to both of them so that constant we take as a c so here also we are taking c so that's why whenever we have log b base a so that is going to be equal to 1 by log a base b so we have a 1 by log a b b then we can write this one as a log b by log a okay log b by log a but there should be some constant as a base that's why we are taking c as a base to both this one so i hope you got the properties of logarithm for more details on logarithm please watch other videos in the playlist please subscribe to my channel la la